Hi, my name is Tara, and I'm a light worker here to help raise the elevation of vibration within all of us here on Earth and the Earth on, a, on the third dimension to raise it up to the fourth and fifth dimension with all the other light workers here on Earth. Today, I'm going to be talking about the auric layers, and I'm really excited to be talking about the auric layers because the aura field is probably the real first step into this magnificent journey of teaching that I have been waiting so patiently to do two years in the making of this YouTube channel and heightened procrastination because of intimidation of electronics and technology. The aura field is a magnetic, magnetic uh, field of energy that surrounds the physical body. Now this, the physical body is mostly consisting of cells and um, vibrating at a slow rate, giving off a certain amount of energy, but surrounding that body, surrounding that body field is an entire another energy field and that one is going to be of a lighter and finer body that vibrates even higher at a higher frequency than that within our body it is compromised of the magnetic energy unique to each individual and the aura contains a wealth of information that can be found about your past history in this life and other lives about things that are going to come to you in the future past and past ailments and sicknesses, what you can expect to see if you're going down the same path right now that you have been, where ailments can be a problem in the future. This is an energy that emanates from the spinal column and outward, and it is a combination, again, once of bringing together the mind, body, and spirit. Whew, that was really exciting. <laughs> okay, so the aura doesn't just exist on the physical um, energy plane. It exists in a spiritual plane, one that is a dimension above us, okay? And often it's referred to as the etheric, but that is only one aspect of the um, auric field because there are seven layers to the auric field. The first layer is the etheric. That is the one that is closest to the physical body. That's the one that we will visit when we're dreaming. That's where you'll get some energy work done. Um, basically, <clears throat> where you can best see the aura is on the etheric level. So it's the closest to the body. It represents the body, the muscle tone, the bones. It's connected to your root chakra. It's a bluish green color. It's easiest to see with the naked eye. It pulsates at about 20 beats per minute, 20 cycles per minute. And it's stronger in athletes and those with a that are physically fit, and it's going to be weaker in those that are immunocompromised or lead a more sedentary lifestyle. The second layer is the emotional auric layer, and that is um, the second from the physical body, so it's the second layer outward of energy, and it is about emotions and feelings. It's connected to the solar plexus chakra and can be all of the colors of the rainbow. Um, it can be really muddied and dirty during um, times of emotional stre stress, and your state of chakras can easily be determined in this layer. When a healer, when a Reiki practitioner does a chakra scan, generally it's the second layer of the um, emotional um, auric field that they're scanning for you. The third layer is the mental. It's the, it's the third energy field run from the emotion, the physical body. And this is where your thoughts and cognitive process are going to be focused, a state of mind. It's a bright yellow in color. It's connected to your, your uh, sacral chakra and it radiates there. It also um, is very much connected with the head, shoulders, and neck. So if you have pain in your head, shoulders, and neck, it could be coming that strain from your mental etheric um, or a field not being completely, like the energy may need to be moved around in there and cleaned in order for you to not have that pain. Um, and it can be very glittery at times. It could radiate as uh, sparkles of light and it could be seen flowing through the air during highly creative engagements and excitement. So you could see, if you are seeing any around me, it's because of the creativity flowing, but I can't see it right, right now. Sometimes I can, but not right now. The fifth layer is going to be the etheric layer of template. It's the physical blueprint of that the body exists here on the physical plane, and it includes everything about your identity. Every bit of your chemistry makeup is contained in this blueprint in the fifth auric layer. Okay, the sixth is going to be the celestial 
auric layer. It's going to be white in color. It's going to be healed with unconditional love. It's going to be connected to the third eye. And it's going to have a very strong vibration to divinity. It is going to have your third eye available. Um, and it's going to be connected with that strong vibration of knowingness. And then the seventh etheric layer is going to be what's known as the heteric. Okay, this is your crown chakra connection, and this is where you understand the oneness and the universe connection. This is where all of your lifetime's information and in highest frequency is going to be radiating and pulsating, and there's going to be a surrender to the path of the divine, the enlightenment, the realization that we are all one universal consciousness, we are all connected, and that it's going to increase your psychic abilities and awareness, okay? So the aura doesn't exist on the physical plane, but it exists in the spiritual realms. Now, they say that the earth here, and then you have the heavenly here, and then the lower vibrations here, as above, so below, and what happens is that it's all right here, okay? Um, people more or less can sense their auric field intentionally, internally, intuitively, um, and they can interpret the colors and the meanings. A lot of people like to look up the color meanings of their aura. The auras will vibrate red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and even grayish and muddy. Some people may have a very dark aura around them if they are ill-intentioned. The energy of the aura is not always available to the naked eye. We will see at times, you can, you can see what's happening. You will see at times that you're able to pick up on the colors of the emotional, um, excuse me, of the magnetic force field in the aura, but it's not always something that's visible. Just like when people are working with their clairs, their clair audience, their clair sentience, their clair cognants, these things not always are seen to the visible naked eye. These things are not always heard to the physical ear, but they can be downloaded and perceived as a vision in your third eye or a hearing inside of your mind's eye or your mind's ear, I might say, um, and, and a downloaded knowingness of things that are to come. These, when working with energy in the metaphysical realm, it's not always about what you can see. It's about what you can know, what you can feel, what you can intuitively process. And I think that's why science disqualifies the metaphysical because they can't see it to prove it. And when people don't see something, they tend to not believe something. They want to be able to, the pen is here, feel the pen, know the pen is in their hand. But what if I were to tell you that this pen doesn't really exist? It's just a perception, a perceiving of this pen being in existence, okay? So really what we have here is people understanding that you're looking at your magnetic force field, your energy field, your auric field from a different eye than you are your physical body. It is all connected. It comes back to that mind, body, spirit connection again. And then this is going to be the travel pathway for us to start talking about chakras tomorrow. Listen, guys, I really did enjoy t speaking to you about the auras today. I can't wait to go into further topics. Like I said, we're going to be discussing in the near future, now that we've got the foundations and basics covered, we're going to go into chakras. We're going to go into time travel. We're going to go into the um, angels and we're going to go into guides and we're going to go into the law of attraction and manifestation. There is so many great topics that are still yet to come. I'm so glad to be begin this journey with you all. I hope that you're enjoying the content that I'm bringing to you on this page. It's only going to get more magical as we progress forward. Like I said, nobody likes to do the basics, but they have to be given to you. You have to have that foundation in order to build on if I don't give it to you, then I haven't done my job properly as a light worker. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I look forward to making the next one for you tomorrow. Walk in light and love and be the reason somebody smiles. Be the reason somebody feels good about themselves today. Tell them they have great eyes. Tell them they have a nice smile. Heck, tell them they got nice shoes. Walk in light and love. Take care.